Hi, in this video, I want to just go over some of the features that you can use in the Quizlet teacher account, which is a premium account. One of the things that you wanna make sure you do is set up a class so that you can use some of the features such as if you wanna get analytics on student progress and what note cards really need review as a class. So to set up a new class, you would go into the classes and create a class and then you would just enter the class name there. Make sure that you select Bullis School if it's not already selected, create class. The easiest way to get students to join is to just share this class join code with them. So you can copy and paste that into Haiku. Then they would click that link, sign in with their Quizlet account that they already have or set up a new one. And then they would be joined into your class and they can be joined into multiple classes at the same time. Now, if I go into one of my classes, I can click on my members and see my students there. And it's pretty cool that if I click on an individual student, I can actually see what sets they've created and which ones they've studied. So if you are asking them to create some Quizlets for your class, you can see them directly in there. If you click on studied, you can see which terms they studied and when they studied it. What's bold is what they've done and whatever's grayed out, they haven't done that yet. So if I go into my class again, click on an actual set, then I can see work that's been done within that set. So if I scroll down, terms in the set, if I do all students and say I wanna do in the past year because I signed this a little while ago, this will tell you if you look down what is often missed, what is sometimes missed, and I can see that I only had two students do this and I guess one of them got it right and one of them got it wrong, and what things were never missed. You can't see the individual students who got these correct or incorrect, but you can see how many students got it correct and incorrect. And then say you just wanna review the ones that were often missed by your class, you can do that as a class by just clicking on select these 13 items and then those get starred. So then when you actually go into the flashcards, you can study only the starred ones. You just go to the flashcards, go into options, and just put the starred ones on. And then you'll see I only have 13 to go through instead of all of them. So you can turn that on and off, go back to all. I have 79, go back to starred, and I can just review the ones that need attention based on what I saw that my class needed. Another really good feature is if you click this little class progress tab, I will actually see all my students. And if I do the past year, I can see which ones didn't study the set at all versus which ones did. And I can see what they studied. So I can see that this student started the flashcards, but this one with a check actually did all of the flashcards. And this one did both learn mode and flashcards. Now you might be wondering why I only got some data before when I was showing you on what was missed and what was not missed. That data isn't gonna come from the flashcards because those aren't quizzing, testing scenarios. Only the learn mode and the test mode and matching and stuff like that where a student would get correct or incorrect, only those, so if I go back to the set, would show up in this view if they got it right, if they got it wrong. Now, if you wanna study this as a class, something great to do if you haven't done it already is Quizlet Live. You would create a game and then you choose which way you want the questions to be asked. So it's like, do you want the back of the card read or do you want the front of the card read? So you get to choose that. I'm gonna turn off the music for this one. And then students would go ahead and go to quizlet.live. They would enter this join code. And then you need to have at least four students because they will be paired up in different teams. And then they would get in their teams and you would play a game of Quizlet Live, which students love. If you wanna turn music on and off, you just go down to the options, turn it on and off. That's probably one of the most fun things to do in class. Now, another thing you can do, which not everybody knows about, is Quizlet diagrams. So that would be a way to mark up a diagram and ask students to identify things on a diagram. So if you press create, you can just go ahead and choose an image right here. So say, for example, I use this image of this snail and I want students to label this, but this one's actually the answer key. That's okay because I can actually click on this little edit icon and then I can just select and blur out all of the answers, you see that, and they will disappear. So then I can allow students to instead tell me what's what. So then save the changes, and then I'm going to want them to label each of those. So I'm just gonna add a point. This is the shell, these are the eyes. I can change that to yellow, and this one to blue. Let me just add the mouth, and then my language is English. And I'm gonna press create. 
and then students will go to it and they can see those terms and study it. And when they go to learn mode, it says point to the mouth so they can click on the mouth, correct the shell, correct eyes. If I click on the wrong thing, it'll tell me incorrect and this is actually the eyes. So that's how that works. And then let me just take you over here and review some of the features. So again, there are different activities that students can do in Quizlet. There are independent activities, like the learn the flashcards, the write the spell and the test. And then the matching and the gravity are things that they can play once they have studied the terms in the first couple ones. If students have a phone, they can download the Quizlet app on their phone so they can study from anywhere. Of course, they can always use it on the computer also. In the classroom, you can launch a Quizlet Live and then students can work collaboratively in groups. So that would be something that you would do in class and then they would team up and do that. Students can play from their phone or from their laptop and you would launch that session, then they would go to Quizlet Live and enter the game code that comes up on your screen. There is also a ton of material already in Quizlet that you can modify and use. So you would just type in a search term and then you would see what comes up. So to replicate that, I would just go to the search term, maybe type in biology. Some of this content is not free, so it says premium. That is not free. You'll wanna go to the ones that are free. So you can actually just filter by free and then say, I want the cell, this one. And then you can preview it, see if that's what you want. If it is, press customize, and now you can edit it and create. With the premium license, remember that you can add images, so that is a premium feature. If you've not done that before, when I go to create, I can just add an image by clicking there. I can upload my own image, or I can also search inside of Quizlet for images. So if I wanna sell, for instance, maybe they have something that I need, and I can just use that. Again, if it's not there, you can upload your own image. As we talked about before, you can create a diagram just by clicking on that button there, and you can just do individual terms by adding them here, and then you will have premium features like adding images. One thing that I didn't go over, in case you didn't know, you can shift around the order of these things by just dragging and dropping. So that's what these little two lines are for. You can move things around, just drag and drop. If you add an extra term, you can delete it just like so. If you wanna add an image over here, if you wanna add any audio, you can also do voice recordings with the premium. Here is a picture of a cell. Here is a picture of a cell. So that would play along with the term when students go to study it. You can use multiple languages, so choose your language. And something important is that math and chemistry symbols, for example, they are a language actually. So once you click on it, you would see those symbols show up. So, you know, if I wanna do five plus the square root of two, I would need to use those math symbols. I can, of course, also just type normally, but to bring up those symbols, you have to change the language. If I had chemistry, then I would get these symbols. There are a ton of different languages in Quizlet, which Quizlet is very popular for languages, but it can also be used for things like math and chemistry. I'm going back to math for myself. We already reviewed diagrams and then to track student progress, which was the first thing we talked about, you need to set up a class first. If you don't have a class set up, you can't track students' progress, so make sure you do that. If it is darkened, that means that they have started it. If it has a check mark, it means they've completed it. And if it's grayed out, it means they have not done that activity yet. Again, the easiest way to have students join your class is to just give them this class join code. And if you need to get back to that, you just click on your class, which you have already created, and it always comes up in this top right corner. Whether you're in the members view or the sets view, that's all you need. Copy and paste that onto your Haiku page and then students can join your class. So just to summarize, some of the features that you get with Quizlet Teacher are that class progress, the voice recording, the image uploading, Quizlet Live add-ons, so you can play on diagrams and some other things. You get the advanced diagrams and no ads on sets. So hopefully I reviewed most of those things today and this is a good little overview of some of the premium features. I will be following up soon with another tip on the integration between Pear Deck Vocab and Quizlet, which is very powerful and I hope you can enjoy using also. But for now, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.